YouTuber himself is actually on top of a car. I honestly think that the Fousey Tube situation is a little bit fascinating. It comes from a lot of different dimensions, you know, because uh, obviously, I don't know if you'd call him a disgraced YouTuber, but he's certainly a YouTuber that is, has largely been perceived to have fallen off. It seems like he's been on a slight, I guess, redemption arc. I don't know. He's just basically been blasted back into the limelight. And here's one thing that I will say. This is now pretty verifiably clearly the case. Fousey Tube is very good at capitalizing and grabbing at the spotlight. From what I can remember, the last two times that he has seemingly emerged from the ashes, right? Like pretty being relatively irrelevant. He has managed to grab at the spectacle and actually become, you know, I guess a uh, an interesting person for people to watch, right? Like a worthwhile subject or whatever. There was obviously FouseyCon. It's a music festival, YouTube convention, motivational seminar slash song tour that promotes love and positivity and ends racism. Which was an epic failure, yes. Absolutely, seemingly not good, like detrimental to his mental health, potentially. That's what I love you. You're heating up your breakfast when I'm heating up my dinner. <laughs> what you put into my head made me want to kill myself. But he did succeed at his technical goal, which was getting a ton of eyes and attention. And there's plenty of documentaries and content that was produced because of that. Uh, famously, of course, Colossal is crazy, friend of the fucking stream. Um, my boy Colossal, he made some banger videos about FouseyTube showing some of the scumminess that he's done. He's a con artist. He's been doing this for a very long time. Everything I've ever done, I've contrived and I've done it behind the scenes. Uh, FouseyTube seems like a pretty suspect character just generally, but he's like one of these guys that's like extremely, f kind of forcibly pushes optimism or like positivity um and it's unclear how often it's you know jaded right but it's possible that over the years he's actually improved as a person i'm not super sure but i will say recently he has managed to capture the spotlight once again by doing a long session of 24 hour streaming on twitch okay he was streaming 24 hours there was a couple noteworthy events to come out of it here is the chain of events as it has been relayed to me okay fuzzy tube <laughs> i this is the first instance that i saw from his 24-hour live stream basically yeah he was singing the lyrics to a rap song and he accidentally uh you know not hard r but you know he said the m word or whatever um and then he immediately his reaction so funny i'll actually show the reaction bro <laughs> I never use that word. I swear to fucking God, this isn't content. I never use that fucking word. I've listened to rap songs every day on this subathon, and I always change it out for brother. I had a tweet that literally said, Here's one thing I gotta warn you about, FouseyTube. This guy, bro, manic as fuck. And I do believe he has, like, diagnosed bipolar. <laughs> bipolar and it's definitely one of those things where you can fucking see it bro the fact that he managed to get to 31,000 subs on twitch during a 24-hour live stream is actually wild wild actually uh 24 7 sorry um the next thing that i saw was basically i do believe he might have gotten a temporary ban for that you know n-word use whatever because obviously twitch is like so uncharitable and extremely um, aggressive with banning people for accidentally or purposely using slurs. The next scenario was uh, this situation where he said this while he was live on Twitch and he did get banned for this. Um, here you go. Block. I want to call them f**ks, but I can't. I support the LGBTQ way too much, but that word just rolls off my tongue and I'm not going to pretend like it. I don't know if he was drunk or what the fuck if he was off his meds whatever but like obviously he's like saying like I'm not gonna say that word 
but like he's saying it, you know what I mean? And then this was probably the peak of like absolute insanity was FuziTube was basically at the airport. He was talking to a woman who basically was recounting her experience with having uh, been sex trafficked or something along those lines. You got sold in the sex trade? I actually care about this shit because I'm like an advocate for like against sex trading and all that shit. And it was basically, FuziTube was flirting with her. She was, I guess, semi-receptive. Uh, they went away, I believe, at one point, And then she came back with frizzy hair. And there's a ton of allegations that basically he like, you know, took advantage of her or whatever. Fuzi also said some mentally insane stuff. Like he basically said, uh, back in the day, I used to do stuff with women who were trafficked, which again, I don't know if he's just manically being mentally insane or if that's accurate. It's all a little bit unreliable with this guy. I am going to get into the specifics of the allegation, but I do want to say I've seen that after this event, fuzi has been trying very hard to kind of compensate or like atone, basically like rehabilitate his image and be like a good defender of women. I tuned into Hey Watch Your Mouth stream just yesterday and uh, Fuzi was at Lil Pump's birthday at his villa, I guess, with Sneeko and he was constantly making kind of weird comments and trying to be the hero it seems like come here come here sneak him. actually actually yo hey sierra get off him get off him get off him get off him get off him, get off him. Get off him. Get off him. I have to push him no i need to talk to him i need to talk yeah, to him we have an important conversation get afterwards get away get away she's junk as shit do okay. not talk to her do not look at her she'll wake up tomorrow and say you did some crazy shit to her she's drunk i'm Good serious talk. i swear to god she's just I'm what the fuck was that with no drunk girls anymore what was that if you're drunk i am not talking to you i'm not looking at you i don't know you i don't see you you're done do your thing. Are you good? You need water? Yeah, you go get a glass of water, man. No, okay. No, you should get water, I promise. I thought you were with Sneeko. I had to go save him. Only because you've been drinking. I can't let him talk to a girl who's been drinking. I would do that with any girl. No disrespect to you. So he's with another girl? You know he was trying to get with me, right? But that, but that was before you got drunk. No. I just got in trouble for trying to hit up on the drunk girl. Me? Um, never, me. But me being drunk? Are you talking about me or someone you else? I swear to God you need a hearing aid. I got in trouble for trying to I hit know, on a drunk a girl. girl. I didn't know if that drunk girl was me. No, okay. in the airport. Okay. So I learned relax. from my lessons. It's okay, relax. And eventually, Little Pump asked him to stop streaming and might have kicked him out. All right, guys. Pump asked me to calm down a little. So yeah. I'm respectfully yeah. oblige. Yeah, I apologize, I Pump, on your birthday. Yeah. I get passionate and shit. But it's hard when I'm sober talking to drunk girls. That's why. He's just like, shut the fuck up and get out of my ear, man. Let me mute it real quick. Respectfully, All right, guys. Pump wants me to end it for now. I respect him. It's his birthday party. I love y'all so much. Yeah, just very weird stuff. Though obviously you could argue he's just trying to do what's right. There's another clip where he talks down a fan from driving after he drank. Hey, you shouldn't be driving. You shouldn't be driving. No, I only had like, I only had a... My brother, you came up you came up to me to show me a lot of love and I appreciated it, but I knew you were intoxicated just by the way no, you were I no, I swear to God, Brother, you shouldn't drive. It's an Uber. You're 23. You're too young to fuck up your life and a lot of people's other lives. But yeah, it does come off slightly performative, but whatever. It's certainly not making anything worse. And so yeah, when I streamed, I actually didn't see the full clip with the woman who he allegedly had sex with, and I was mind blown while I was streaming. So here's that reaction. Oh yeah, and if you're still watching at this point, give your mother a hug. People are saying this is a masterclass in narcissism from Fousey. If anyone wants to know how narcissists find and manipulate vulnerable women, this is it. So many narcissist hallmarks. Love bombing, charm, asking the right questions to find her vulnerabilities, but clearly not invested in her. Uh, controlling manipulation. Okay, this is... I'm not sure. Goddamn, the woman seems like such a sweetheart. I get a vibe that she's been taken advantage of most of her life. This is disgusting. I'm not even sure this can be forgotten. I'm physically sick. What a lost and damaged soul to be drunk in an airport, confess a great and dark secret to a random streamer who is live streaming, to then be placed, taken advantage of in a sexual manner and blasted on the internet. Damn. So, Tfuzi has uh, denied this, like, outright. Uh, people have basically said that he took advantage of the woman, um, and he's saying that's not true. Here you can get some context for their interaction. I'm that right now, what is it, Virgo? XO, well, it's, it's, it's not space. Virgo, like, XO, co. Kiss, hug, Colorado. Is that it? <laughs> I'm from Colorado. Is that it? Can I see it to make sure? Because I'm really going to put yours out there right now. All right, guys. This is her cash app if anybody wants to bless her. You don't have to cry. You don't have to cry. 
don't worry, baby. Everybody fucks up. We all have our own demons. I know, we all have our demons. We all have our demons. Guys, how much do I send her? Was Danish's 500 for her? Tell me, I'll send it to her. I'll send it to her, but I have to get confirmation from Danish that it was for her. Bro, you should probably just send it to her, bro. Anyway, um, yes, this is weird. Yes, whatever. I don't know. Do I see abuse? I'm not sure yet, bro. But like, let's see. This is where he goes away, right? So I believe he probably does end up giving her the 500. I'm not sure. Her nails. Buy him hammer and nails. <laughs> he, when he told me he wants to build me a house. He's sick. Oh, this is fucking sad. It's because I used to be a sex addict. So a lot of the women I used to mess with were sex trafficked. Yeah. And I always like shit about them. Oh, no, no, no. I was always upset. Okay. All right. So, that, yeah, that's him saying he used to be a sex addict. Some of the women he used to mess with were sex trafficked. Don't know. Well, whatever. I would always leave the massage parlors like shit. I knew the woman was sex trafficked. I going to be there. But my addiction. <laughs> That's so horrendous. Holy f What a thing to drop. Oh my god. This does feel honest. I feel like you don't just drop that without some fucking level of, you know, truth. Huh. This is that's honesty. Uh, that's that's you get what I'm saying though. That's like such self-destructive levels of honesty. It's it's interesting. I don't know. Camera, please take that. Come on. Okay. So he says, "Can I talk to you privately?" Weird shit. I really want to have a conversation with you. I really want to have a conversation. With you. Okay. So they walk away. Oh, what in the fuck? Bruh. All right. This is so odd. Bro, is she cool with this? I can't even tell. I pro uh, this goes on so long, dude. Can you watch our stuff for a second? Sure. Make sure nobody takes anything. I got you, buddy. Thank you, brother. I'm gonna turn it to you, all right? <laughs> I'm gonna go walk with her real quick. I'm gonna buy her stuff from the convenience store. She needs some stuff for, for her flight. Got you, got you. Thank you, brother. Okay, so the allegation is basically that this was just them going to uh, smash, basically, I guess. I just joined the Mile High Club. Oh, bro, wait, what? They went, whoa. And I know it doesn't count as the Mile High Club because I was in the airport, but I still joined it. I swear to God. You're kidding me. This guy's fucked in the head. Egg-shaped brain ass looking ass having an actual fucking egg in that brain, bro. This guy's fucked in the head. What a... Like, bro, this whole time I was thinking, like, bro, people might be reading into this too much. Are you fucking kidding me? That is... Very suspect. I swear on everything I love. <laughs> I swear on everything I love. I just joined the Maha Club. I swear on everything I love. Wow. In the airport. In the men's bathroom. <laughs> I swear to God. Walla. Walla, I had to confess. I couldn't hold it for a fucking second. I didn't go to buy her no fucking snacks. Are you fucking serious? And this is an allegation. <laughs> Bro, this guy's fucked in the head. Join the Maha. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh I'm my sorry. god. I shouldn't have shared that. I'm sorry. Bro. Okay, now I get how he got banned on Twitch, bro. I didn't see this full context. Like, what are we supposed to think, Fousey? Now what? He's saying that he didn't? He was just joking? It was just a joke? Bro's literally saying, I swear on all that I love. How the fuck is this a joke? Holy shit. Uh, his hairline's high on his head because he... Uh, has fake hairline, I'm pretty sure. He got, like, that uh, surgery where they 
fix your hairline or whatever. That or it was like a tattoo, I think maybe. Something about his hair is fake. That's all I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm lying. I'm lying. By the way, it's a joke. Oh, it's a joke. It's a joke. It's a huge joke. Oh, it's okay. A huge joke. It's a huge. Okay, my bad. It's just a joke. It's just a joke, guys. Okay, it's it's, it's guys. It's just a joke. We're good. Joke. We're good. I'm typing. I'm sorry in chat. It's a huge joke. It's a huge joke. You got pranked. You got pranked by Fousey too. You got pranked by Fousey too. I can't keep secrets for the fucking life of me. I can't keep secrets for you in two fucking seconds. It's a prank. It's a prank. It's a prank. Do you see how fucking actually mentally unhinged this guy is? Like, for real? This, I almost, like, what am I watching? Holy fuck. I don't even know what critique there is to make here. Like, yeah, he's clearly bipolar, but like... On a live stream, bro, in broad daylight in front of thousands and thousands of people. Wild. Ha <laughs> you guys got pranked. Y'all are so delusional. Y'all really thought you left her in the bathroom. I gave her a choice. I said, you want to come to the men's bathroom or the women's bathroom? She said men. So it was her option. She came into the men's. So when I left, I said, you leave. Go into the women's immediately and clean your face and clean your mouth. <laughs> you guys got pranked. <laughs> Holy fuck, dude, this actually is blowing my mind. I really didn't expect it to be this, this like insane, like just genuinely insane, bro. And this is something that uh, Clown kind of points out in a lot of his videos is like the gut reaction that he had when he came back was immediately to fucking brag and flex about how he's like a player or whatever the fuck. You know what I mean? So even if this didn't happen, it's like, holy shit, your gut instinct when you came back was to brag about that. And then when he started seeing the comments pouring in like, bro, what the fuck, are you serious? He tried to pull it back and be like, bro, come on, it's just a prank, bro, bro, it's just a prank. Back to his fucking OG days as a prankster. Immediately reverted his brain back 10 years. I, I'm starting to see why FouseyTube gets so much heat, okay? With the uh, FouseyCon stuff, it did seem like more of a like sincere manic episode-induced like state of mania, you know what I mean? So uh, there's a level of kind of empathy that I had with that. And this, I'm still confused, like what the fuck does he think, you know what I mean? Like is this in the middle of a manic episode? Doesn't seem like it, right? I mean... I'm not sure though, like holy fuck, pathological liars can't be helped. Damn, he's lying through his teeth, bro. He's a uh, sus. If there was ever a person that you should slap the label of sus onto, this is the fucking guy. You guys got God. I'm sorry. I pranked my audience. I'm mama's. Yeah. You got more money? How much? Two thousand four hundred eighty-five. Let's get it. Hey, and by the way, to everybody I was joking around with before, it was actually a prank, so please respect her and don't disrespect her right now. I, that was fucked up of me to do as like, this is a prank and everything. She did not do anything. She's a woman of two. She loves her children, so please respect that. No. I prank them. <laughs> I prank them. I'm sorry. No, you're fine. <laughs> no, no, no. It's, I'm not fine. I, just, I, no, I disrespected I you by pranking them. I didn't think of you and your emotions, and I pranked them, but I didn't think of you, and I'm sorry. No, it's, it's something that starts out, you know, like that. But no, 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 I, I played an actual bad prank on you, and I apologize. Like, uh, this is one of those moments where I don't even know what to fucking say. Like, I'm actually just mind blown. Like, I might as well just not say anything. I told them that... Nah, nah, nah. No, I don't even, no, 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 I don't even want to explain it. <laughs> I don't even want to... Can I get a Diet Coke? <laughs> Can I get a Diet Coke? <laughs> it was fucked up. I need to get better at doing my pranks. And I use your expense and your livelihood for my gratification. And I shouldn't do that. So I'm I apologize. Used to it. I'm used to it. Can I get a Diet Coke, please? She said, I'm used to it. This is just so many levels of fucks, man. <laughs> 
Don't no, actually, I apologize. I'm gonna, I'm gonna own this. I'm gonna own this. You won't get mad at me. You won't get mad at me. No. Say you swear to God, you won't get mad at me. I promise. <laughs> I came back and I had a lot of adrenaline, and I lied to my audience and I said that I joined the Mile High Club with you. Now, obviously, that's not possible unless you're in a plane. It's so I apologize. I lied. <laughs> We're at the airport. I took advantage of your situation no, and I please. tried to get a plus from it. I'm okay, sorry. I thought I was looking much worse. <laughs> That's, not That's all I said. I said, yeah, guys, we joined the Mile High Club. Right? <laughs> no, it's a prank. I said, guys, we joined the Mile High Club. I'm sorry. We joined like that, like 200 feet, huh? Mm -hmm. 200 feet. <laughs> and so they, so, like, they fucked, like. Like, what the fuck? Are we, like, what's the big joke here? Why is FoozyTube denying this happened? They, they fucked. Like, this is so... Man, it was just mentally fucked. Jesus Christ. Like, you're accepting of it, but I shouldn't have done that. At your expense. I'm sorry. Because you're drinking, and I'm not. So I shouldn't have done that. No, you know, like, this is my second drink in... That's your second drink? This is my second drink. <laughs> Even he knows it's like addict behavior, bro. This is fucked. I didn't expect to get caught on that. I'm sorry, chat, but like, yeah, okay. Fuzzy tube. Yeah, him denying this now. Uh, I uh, I don't know how, but here we go. This is uh, this is him denying it. Here we go. God, when I swear to God on my fucking dead fucking grandpa and my dead dog that I am fuck this woman. But do you give a fuck before Drama Alert goes and post that shit? Calm down for Bro, Fuzzy, like, I don't know how any human being would watch that and think that you were joking. For a second, calm down for a second and just, like, think about this logically. You're telling me to calm down when you just went on the internet and told everybody that I called you to say I fucked the woman that was drunk. Let's, let's get forward. Let's get forward in this conversation. Let's actually move All right, I'll calm down. Can you grab me water? I'll calm down. Uh, bro, like, chat, I don't know, man. Manipulative, abusive jackasses all act like this when they get caught. This is literally how men do shit and get caught. Yeah. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Yeah. Anyway, so FuzzyTube got hardcore banned from Twitch after that, which, uh, you know, is significant because he had like over 30,000 Twitch subscribers after doing the 24-7 stream. Again, that is, those are impressive numbers, but banned, you know, it is what it is. And immediately, who came down to swoop this little fucking egghead right off of his feet? Kick.com. The current seemingly biggest i think competitor to twitch obviously rumble is there as well rumble and kick kind of you know fighting for a semi-similar crowd with rumble being more so like far right especially whereas kicks more so like attracting kind of just degenerates in general to be honest like gamblers because kick is owned by uh stake stake.com so yeah kick is like uh got the aiden ross and uh train wrecks all these you know, kind of gambling, kind of dumbass type guys. They offered Fuzzy a contract and it seems like Fuzzy accepted, which to be honest, semi makes sense because him bit managing to kind of come out of nowhere and just have like fucking 30,000 subscribers on Twitch. It shows the guy kind of does have a fucking talent, though it also is a bit slimy on kick because it's like, bro, like this is a guy you want kind of representing your brand. Obviously, they don't give a fuck because all the people who represent their brand are kind of sus. <laughs> Um, but yeah, there is basically rumors that this deal was massive. 15 million fucking dollars. Fuzzy signs 50 million dollar worth contract with Kick following Twitch ban. After being officially suspended, whatever, he said they didn't believe it. Kick did. G7. Hi. <laughs> Hi, how are you today? <laughs> uh... <laughs> uh... <laughs> I can't even do that, my throat. I uh, totally get why Colossal made his videos on him, bro. This guy's. Uh, yeah, I love y'all so much, man. Let's just vibe out real quick. All right, all right, bro. It literally feels like this guy's fucking high as hell. That's wild. Some people really just do be failing upwards, bro, in life for real. I don't know if you've ever noticed that, but bro, some people, man, they really just the bar is low. The bar is low. Um. 
you know, Fuzi, he is an entertaining guy, I guess, but like, holy shit, is he unstable. And Kick signing him, I don't know what kind of uh, behavior we're going to witness, but, uh, you know, time will tell, I guess. Time will tell what the saga of Fuzi Tube is going to unfold with. There's only one thing worse than watching this piece of shit. It's watching someone watch this piece of shit, yeah. Where's the human Venus trap when you need one? Signing Fuzi for a contract is suicide, lol. Yeah, but here's the thing you need to understand. Kick.com does not give a single fuck at all about who they represent. Okay? Kick.com is quite literally owned, first of all, by a gambling company who's notoriously tried to attract kids to gambling non-fucking-stop. But yeah, Kick is a suspect site. I'm just being real. But it is it makes sense why they... um. I guess are semi succeeding. I don't know if it's all bullshit, but basically they have a lot of obviously finance capital backing them up from their gambling ventures. But you know, also because of their gambling ventures, they have a lot of access to capital from investors, uh, as well as our boy. Like, there's a lot of guys who've who've been brought to kick, and it's kind of becoming a hub for yeah, a little bit of degen content. If you like seeing fucking idiots, it reminds me totally of the Ice Poseidon heyday. You know what I mean? Of Twitch when Twitch was kind of fucking you know scuffed as shit but also a little bit degen right uh if any of you guys have watched an ice poseidon stream that shit i remember watching it and it was pure i was purely watching it out of a uh a kind of um morbid curiosity you know what i mean and that's kind of the vibe i get from people who go to kick usually where it's like you watch train wrecks you're kind of watching a gambler just gamble right <laughs> um i mean i guess train wrecks makes a lot of money for gambling so that might not be fair but what i'm saying is like self-destructive people will do well on kick you know what i mean whereas on twitch they just end up getting banned good night Mwah. have a good week you better i'll come for you join the fucking discord <laughs> oh! then, uh, uh, hey,